I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. I'd rather know the truth, even if it means I'm wrong. And so with that, I'll say, the media played me. And I watched Donald Trump speak live in his news press briefings. I was trying to find any kind of answers I could. And as I watched him talk live, I also watched the news totally spin his words out of control. I looked more into Trump's character and his background and there just wasn't anything there. I had no idea why I hated the guy in the first place. So yeah, I got played and I never thought I would say this, but I absolutely love Trump. I love him so much. He's a hero in my book. If you could give President Trump, or if you were able to, to talk to President Trump tonight, what would you like him to know? Listen. I would like to say, Mr. President, I am so sorry for believing the lies that the mainstream media has just projected on me and that I fell for and I believed. I stand by you. I love you. I thank you for what you're doing for this country. Mr. President Donald Trump, I want to meet you so bad, mainly to apologize face to face for allowing the media to influence my opinion of you. I've been digging and doing my research, man. So many hidden things that they hid that they they hid that you were doing. I don't mean no harm. Yes, welcome back. Democrat, now Trump voters want to apologize to Trump for believing in the lies the media has been saying about him. Even the BLM co-founder is voting for Trump. There is something B. Maha said on a video I'm going to show you very concerning. He is changing his mind. It is important. We take an exclusive look into all this. I've seen a lot of videos suffered on social media where people are putting out like what is happening? What is going on? When Trump says something, the way the media twisted, they thought the people would not wise it up. They are seeing what is happening. And it is high time they find out. Okay, remember the town hall he had on CNN about six months ago, and the audience loved it. The audience loved it. I mean, you can't, you can hate it. It was stacked with Trump supporters. Well, they said Republicans and independents. That's what they said. Okay, maybe it was. How'd they get in? If they did, that's on CNN. I, yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I think it then is on CNN, a, and the vetting process well, was... Well, then you got to get a better audience person. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like the person who handed the gun to Alec Baldwin. Yeah. You know, <laughs> got to get good people in all these positions. I agree. Or, okay, so if that was about, whatever, if, and if it was, here's what happened. Here's what he, he, people saw in America. They saw Trump killing it, killing it with the crowd. Then you come to a panel of six people. Yes, before we proceed, let me give the background of what Bima said on this video. Bima telling, Katie, why he is bored with a negative view on Trump and why he wants to represent the Trump voters' viewpoint as well. Not to defend Trump, but to defend the people who still vote for him because what they see on the other side to tell them is even more dangerous because it is closer to home. My kid is coming home from school and he think he is a racist. He is five. What have you been telling him? Those kind of things are what they say. That is why I'm voting for Trump. <clears throat> I think then it is on CNN a, and the vetting process Well, was, then you got to get a better audience person. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like the person who handed the gun to Alec Baldwin. Yeah. You know, <laughs> got to get good people in all these positions. I agree. Or, okay, so if that was about whatever, if, and if it was, here's what happened. Here's what he, he, people saw in America. They saw Trump killing it, killing it with the crowd. Then you come to a panel of six people who all just do nothing but dump on him and call him a liar. And America goes, oh, didn't you just see that we like him? And He's now, not a stand-up comedian. What? He's killing it. He's not a stand-up comedian. No, but popular, it doesn't matter. He, the people loved him and what he was saying. And then you cut to a panel of six know-it-alls 
in Washington who just do nothing but talk about the negative. And like, I'm all in on the negative. No one's been harder on Trump than me, but I get it and I'm bored with it. And there's a different way to, to do this, I think. Which so is how, to, what is it? The, it's to not to defend Trump, but to defend the people who still vote for him because what they see on the other side to them is even more dangerous because it's very closer to home. My kid is coming home from school and he thinks he's a racist. He's uh-huh. five. What have you been telling him? Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. my, my son thinks maybe he's not a boy and maybe that's true. That happens. But, you know, seems, those kind of things are what they say. That's why I'm voting for Trump. I, a, a, a backlash a, to well, the pendulum swinging so far Conservative guy once said to me, what you don't get about Trump is we don't like him either. Now, that's not true for all people. There are people who just love his dirty draws, mm-hmm. and they are dirty. But <laughs> lots of people, it's like that. We don't like him, but he's all that stands between us and madness. That's their view. So that, I would you, like so- that view presented. Please, before we proceed, there is something I usually see on the comment section. I'm trying my possible best to see that the echoes on this video should not be coming like this. Recently, I bought a microphone. You know, I can put here, then maybe socket on my device to shoot, but it's still not working. That is a third. I don't know if this problem is the iPhone I'm using or what exactly I cannot figure out. Because with this, it will reduce the echoes when I'm speaking. Please pardon me as I struggle you know, to make sure the echoes reduce. This is a place I created just for videos. It's a small room and there is no way I can shoot videos apart from this place. So please, now taking a look into what is going on, people are regretting. Even Bimaha, I don't know who is actually sounding into his ears to see the truth. Bimaha is changing his tone. This is not how he used to sound, but it kind of tells you something is happening. What could be that? He now says he wants to reason with Trump voters what they are saying. Reason they are voting for him, not like he is defending Trump. Hmm? We understand Bima is a staunch Democrat. He can never change his mind. But just saying this, it therefore means he is doing something that these people don't like. Now look at what is happening. These are voters. I don't want to say black, white, you know, from different angles, regretting, you know, listening to the mainstream media for a very long time. Oh, we don't care. You heard me? We already made our mind up. You already know when the hood got your back. Man, they deep in the hood, gangsters, hollering about Trump 2024, you heard me? We've been used and abused for so long at that party. They don't value our vote. Uh, their policies are basically um, racist policies. I believe it's a racist party. Donald Trump, is he's the opposite. He's, he's going to tell you how, how it is. He's going to give it to you straight. Trump- this is one of the reasons I decided to put out videos Though sometimes it pairs off some people, they unsubscribe on the channel and I cannot grow to a higher level. I could have been more bigger than this. But because of my viewpoints, uh, with the kind of videos I put out, you know, people will not like to subscribe. But the few that follow me, understand what I do here, will know my stand by now. I like the truth. I like people to see what is going on. Reason I try every single day to always bring videos you will not see from the mainstream media. But it was important to show you what how Bima is thinking. If you look back, he could not say things like this before. Please share this video.